Look, there's been a huge number of companies, Carl, that came. And I was looking at one of them that's it's too small to mention on the show. And what do they do? Well, they look through your Medicare to be able to find out which Medicare plan is good. They just prey on the fact that the government's Medicare stuff, which is like 80 pages, can't be understood. But that's there's three other companies that do that. So you look at them and they all draw you, a, you know, UNH or something. And these companies have so much competition that all the teledocs have so much. Carl, I have to tell you, these companies, they're not worthless. It's just that you don't want to own them. It's a very big difference. Uh, let's talk Peloton really quick. As we said, down in the pre-market, company posts a wider-than-expected quarterly loss, says its current quarter outlook reflects softer demand. In a letter to shareholders, the CEO Barry McCarthy says, quote, turnarounds are hard work. It's intellectually challenging, emotionally draining, physically exhausting, and all-consuming. It's a full-contact sport. Um, goes on to say they're thinly capitalized, Jim, relative to the size of the business. Well, free cash flow is negative 747 million. We were looking for negative 202 million. That's a big delta. Delta. I always like saying that because it makes me sound smart. How about this big miss? Big delta. This is a guy has got a lot of, give me some more Greek letters. Got a lot of Omicron. The thing is just a disaster. But I like the guy because he's got to raise money. But it's a disaster. And there are so many, everyone has, David, everybody has a disaster in their portfolio. Everybody. Yes. And you can't asterisk it. You can't tell, hey, listen, you know, like I had Peloton, but hey, I also had. Uh, I, I have Biohaven. No. Biohaven. I got to take a Biohaven. What about, that, what about that guy Foley? Didn't he have a lot? Didn't he have a lot of margin debt? I mean, he must I don't know. Just I saw be... him in... I, I saw him What happened to the a, houses? A, I, I don't know. I, but I saw him in Newport. We were both having a real good yeah. time. I guess I was having a better time, in retrospect. That, but that had much more to do with this. Um, have you had any of those espresso martinis? That wasn't in the morning. People, you know, Jim, there are investors who are still looking for, for those names that haven't given it completely up as a result of that huge take in during the pandemic and the obviously resulting give back. Wait, as well. Which one? Name me that name stock. Like Warby Par people bring, like Warby Parker, people bring up to me. Like, you know, did you know that prescriptions went up 21% in 2021? Isn't that going to come right back down because everybody was home? They didn't go to the eye doctor? I don't know. Oh, the, but, you know, you we know, may I've not see, have seen the last of this. Everyone was home for Weber. You know, everyone was home for Traeger. But then I have Clorox. They make Kingsfords. They're doing well. But, I mean, when you look at the, yeah. the race to the bottom on the, on the uh, team, on the, on the grills, uh, it, wow. I mean, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to have uh, my friend Jim Stewart over for uh, uh, with Benjamin to the uh, party this weekend. And I got a Traeger and I got a Weber. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up building a fire. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.